roughly 16 days from today, you all will be writing CSIR Net Life Sciences. You all will be sitting in that exam hall and today we want to help you prepare your mind for this exam. Today we are conducting this exclusive CSIR Net decision making and question selection workshop for all of you. Hello everybody, my name is Shekhar Suman. I'm the CEO and Managing Director of Biotechnica, a super strategist for CSINET. I have helped thousands and thousands of students qualify CSINET. And we have helped numerous lakhs and lakhs of students get into research career. And today, when we come up here with this webinar on CSINET decision making, I have a single message, a single pointer in mind that I want to help you qualify CSINET by hook or crook. I want to make sure that you qualify CSINET. And if that has to happen, then we all have to come together in this webinar today and join hands and help each other. So before we get started, please confirm in chat if you can hear me, see me clearly, and my voice is completely clear. Is it so? Wonderful. Okay, great. So guys, we are getting started with CSIR and preparation, this question selection training, and I am going to walk you through the introduction part. And after that, my expert will be joining us live and she'll be talking in detail about the question selection training. But let me highlight why decision making is so important. So CSIR net exam is roughly 16 to 17 days from now. Okay, fine. But why decision making is needed in the next 16 to 17 days? Why you just not need to solve the question, instead you should choose the questions wisely. That is what we are going to discuss in this question selection training session. And this particular session actually we conducted uh, two years ago, 28th of May, 2020, we conducted this session and around 12 to 13,000 students were benefited. And a lot of students loved it. They wrote me emails with, with paragraphs together telling me how beneficial this particular training was. And we are conducting the fresh set of training for all of you, CSI and decision making and question selection because everything is all about question selection. Let's move on. The first question is, why should you bother about decision making? Now look at this. We all make decisions. Some are right, some are wrong, correct? Now. We all have to face the consequences of wrong decisions and right decisions. Okay, so if I choose the right questions, definitely I'm going to score more. Definitely I'm going to get better, right? But how do we decide which questions to choose, which questions to skip? In our normal life also, what should, what is right, what is wrong? All that becomes a part of decision making, right? And as a CEO of Biotechnica, I have to take a lot of decisions on a daily basis. So this is a piece of cake for me, but for you, you require a lot of training. So here we are, let's get started. CSIR net exam is 16 days away. And the fact is, what you do, do in those three hours matters the most. exam, whatever you will do there, that matters the most. No matter how much you've studied in past two years, it's of no use. If you select a wrong question to solve, negative marking you have to make sure that you avoid wrong question. Now, how do you identify wrong question? Which question is a trap question? Which question you should skip altogether? All that we will be discussing right inside this webinar. Now, how CSINET is a decision making uh, game? Let's uh, discuss that. So you have got 180 minutes, three hours, 60 minutes each hour. So 180 minute, correct? So 180 minute you have got, okay. And then there are 145 question. Each question has got a four answer option. So in total, you have 580 mini decisions to make. 180 minutes may 145 mega decisions and 580 mini decisions to make. Now four options because whether you choose the option or skip the option, if you read the option, you have to choose or skip, right? So anyways, so this is where 580 mini decisions. Now type in the comment box, fact. Is this not a fact, right? Fact, you have to take decisions. You have to make decisions out of the 180 minutes you are getting for 145 questions, correct? So 145 questions ke liye decision lena hai, 580 mini decisions lena hai aapko. 180 minutes, 180 minutes make lena hai. So how do you do that? That's what CSI and it is all about decision making. But the irony is everyone is teaching you 
कॉन्सेप्ट पढ़ लिया कॉन्सेप्ट ठीक है एवरीबडी इज टेलिंग यू सॉल्व एज मेनी क्वेश्चन एज यू कैन ठीक है कर दिया वॉट्स नेक्स्ट एवरीबडी विल टेल यू इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स हम भी बताते हैं ओके नेक्स्ट एवरी वन टेल्स यू विच बुक्स टू स्टडी फ्रॉम हम भी बताते हैं एवरीबडी टेल्स यू बट नो बडी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट दीज थ्री आवर्स नो बडी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस फाइव एटी मिनट्स विच चेंज इज योर लाइफ और वो बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट है ना इट्स ओनली यू हु इज गोइंग टू राइट दिस एग्जाम डू यू अग्री डू यू अग्री विद मी प्लीज टाइप अग्री इन द कॉमेंट बॉक्स इट्स ओनली यू हु इज गोइंग टू राइट दिस एग्जाम नॉट योर टीचर नॉट योर कुलीग नॉट योर यूट्यूब गुरु जो कि आपके वीडियो आपको वीडियो दिखा दिखा के मिलियंस ऑफ व्यूज कमा रहा है नॉट योर फ्रेंड्स ये सब कोई आपकी जगह पे एग्जाम नहीं लिखेगा यू गोइंग टू राइट द एग्जाम प्लीज टाइप फैक्ट प्लीज टाइप अग्री इन द कॉमेंट बॉक्स इफ यू अग्री विथ मी और फैक्ट इज दट नॉट अ फैक्ट यू गोइंग टू राइट द एग्जाम ये लोग एग्जाम नहीं लिखने वाले हैं तो किसको डिसीजन लेना है एग्जाम में जाके You have to take the decision. So that is why you must be able to take five eighty decisions within a span of one eighty minutes, and then only you can beat your competitor and grab the highest marks. As simple as that. देखो, life में सारा काम खुद करना होता है. It's not that somebody will help you. Yes, definitely we can seek help. But जो exam का moment है, there you are going to make these decisions. You are going to make this decision. You are going to take. A call whether I should attempt this question, whether to, I should skip this question. तो वो सारे decisions आपको लेने हैं right? तो कोई आपको help नहीं करने आएगा वहां पर सिर्फ आपका ये जाएगा brain. So tame your brain and that's what we will discuss here now. Quickly tell me guys, am I right? Am I right? Whatever I said till now. Tell me, am I right? Type in the comment box, right or wrong? Is it a fact? Yes, correct. That's what I'm saying. Yes. It's it's right. So today we are going to dis, uh, decide or uh, discuss decision making for CS INET, and also we are going to devise a formula to help you qualify CSIR NET exam. Look, exam to you qualify karna hi padega is bar, because it's a matter of not just the twenty lakhs fellowship which will come your way in the next five years. It's not just the twenty lakhs fellowship which will come your way in the next five years. It's not just the twenty lakhs fellowship which will come your way in the next five years. Right, you qualify. You become a great researcher. Whether it is food security, whether it is you know virus security, everything. You are responsible here. How our country is waiting for you to become a researcher, to become a, the Abdul Kalam of bioscience. If you want to become a researcher, to become the Abdul Kalam of bioscience. If you want to become a researcher, to become the Abdul Kalam of bioscience. If you want to become a researcher, to become the Abdul Kalam of bioscience. If you want to become a researcher, to become the Abdul Kalam of bioscience. If you want to become a researcher, to become the Abdul Kalam of bioscience. If you want to become a researcher, to become the Abdul Kalam of bioscience. If you want to become a researcher, to become the Abdul Kalam of bioscience. If you want to become a researcher, to become the Abdul Kalam of bioscience. If you want to become a researcher, to become the Abdul Kalam of bioscience. If you want to become a researcher, to become the Abdul Kalam of bioscience. If you want to become a researcher, to become the Abdul Kalam of bioscience. If you want to become a researcher, to Type in the comment box. Excited. Please type in the comment box. Excited. Yes. Yes. Okay. Excited. Super excited. Even I am excited. Yes. So now one thing which I cannot lie to you is no matter whatever. किसी भी द्रोणाचार्य से आप पढ़ लो मैं झूठ नहीं बोल रहा हूँ सच्चाई है. No matter what द्रोणाचार्य you are studying from, you have to take these five eighty decisions. Or एक हाई टेंशन एनवायरनमेंट में लेना पड़ता है ऐसे नॉर्मल लेना पड़े तो कोई बात नहीं बट हाई टेंशन एनवायरनमेंट होगी 180 मिनट्स की जो हाई टेंशन एनवायरनमेंट होगी वहां पर आपको 580 एटी डिसीजन लेना है सो इट इज बेटर टू प्रिपेयर फॉर इट नाउ इट ठीक है सारे क्वेश्चन सॉल्व कर लिए सब कुछ कर लिया बट क्वेश्चन आइडेंटिफाई नहीं कर पाए कि यह टफ वाला है कि ईजी वाला है दैट इज वेयर ऑल द प्रॉब्लम हैपन्स Okay, so that's where no Dronacharya is going to help you here. It's you who has to take the decision. It's you who has to make the decision. So please attend this webinar till the end because that's what is going to help you. So now quickly, guys, type fact in the uh, comment box if you agree with me. Please type fact in the comment box. F A C T fact in the comment box quickly. Chat box. Yes, yes, yes. Fact. Yes. Is it not a fact? You going to write the exam. You going to make a decision. So you must be ready. अगले 16 दिन में अपने आप को रेडी कर लो कौन सा क्वेश्चन इजी है कौन सा टफ है किसको पिक करना है किसको नहीं पिक करना है चलो और एक फैक्ट मैं बताता हूं आपको नाउ द बेस्ट पार्ट ये जो है ये सीएसआईआर और एनटीए की हिडन स्ट्रेटजी है नो बडी टेल्स यू दिस बट द ट्रूथ इज दे डोंट वॉन्ट यू टू अटेम्प्ट ऑल वन फोर्टी फाइव क्वेश्चन ऑफकोर्स दैट रूल बट दे वॉन्ट यू टू बी हंड्रेड परसेंट करेक्ट इन वॉट एवर यू चूज जो भी क्वेश्चन आप चूज कर रहे हो उसमें हंड्रेड करेक्ट होना चाहिए बस उनको इतना चाहिए तो हुआ कि नहीं डिसीजन गेम यस इट इज अ डिसीजन गेम 
उनका कहना यह है कि आप जो भी क्वेश्चन चूज करो 100% परसेंट करेक्ट आंसर करो अदरवाइज मत करो अटेम्प्ट दैट्स वॉट दे मीन टू से हियर तो अगर ऐसा है तो कैसे करेंगे वॉट शुड वी डू टू मेक दिस हैपन नाउ एन टी ए इज टेस्टिंग योर डिसीजन मेकिंग एंड दे आर टेस्टिंग योर एक्यूरेसी दे आर टेस्टिंग योर डिसीजन मेकिंग दे आर टेस्टिंग योर एक्यूरेसी एंड यू हैव टू थिंक देयर critically analytically smartly and systematically in a organized manner aapki soch par nirbhar karega ki aap kitna successful hoge exam mein to ye charo pointers yaad kar lo critically socho samne se jo samajh mein aa raha wo nahi ulta socho why exactly uh, they are asking me this question is this a trap question kya ye mujhe phasane ki koshish kar rahe hai is question mein how should i get out of this ये सारी चीजें आपको सोचनी पड़ेगी एनालिटिकली सोचना पड़ेगा यू हैव टू थिंक स्मार्टली यू हैव टू थिंक द इंटेंशन ऑफ द पेपर सेटर क्यों ये क्वेश्चन डाला गया है राइट right? क्या मेरा नेगेटिव मार्किंग को मैक्सिमाइज करने के लिए डाला गया सो ऑल दैट यू हैव टू नो नाउ व्हाट यू नीड टू बी सक्सेसफुल इज अ वेरी सिंपल फॉर्मूला यू हैव टू चूज द राइट क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर दम हंड्रेड करेक्ट बहुत ही सिंपल है जो एन चाहता है आप करो नाउ अगर ऐसा है लेट्स डू द मैथ्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन सॉल्विंग वर्सेस टाइम अब देखो क्या है हमारे पास आई विल जस्ट टेक ओके आपने 180 मिनट्स है सपोज करो कि 18 मिनट्स दैट इज 10 परसेंट ऑफ योर क्वेश्चन टाइम गोज इन टू द रीडिंग ओके सो सपोज आपने क्वेश्चन रीडिंग किया तो एक्चुअली आप देखोगे कि 145 क्वेश्चन पढ़ने में आपको पर क्वेश्चन जो टाइम मिल रहा है दैट इज 7.5 पॉइंट फाइव सेकेंड्स टू डिसाइड वेदर टू पिक अ क्वेश्चन और टू स्किप अ क्वेश्चन मतलब कि लेस देन टेन सेकेंड्स यू गेट ठीक है और कुछ लोग बोलेंगे अरे मैं पार्ट पार्टे छोड़ दूंगा ठीक है पार्टे छोड़ दिया तब क्या होगा इवन इफ यू लीव पार्टे स्टिल 8.64 पॉइंट सिक्स फोर सेकेंड यू गेट टू डिसाइड ऑन द वन ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन किसको चूज करना है किसको सॉल्व करना है एज सच ये बड़ी प्रॉब्लम नहीं दिखती है जब बट इन दैट दो वन एटी टेंशन मिनट्स इट बिकम्स अ बिग प्रॉब्लम एंड दैट इज वाई आई वॉन्ट यू टू अटेंड दिस सेशन टिल द एंड लर्न द क्राफ्ट एंड हाईलाइट ओके ये वाला क्वेश्चन मुझे स्किप करना चाहिए एंड दिस क्वेश्चन आई शुड पिक उस 125 या 145 क्वेश्चन में कुछ इजी होते हैं कुछ टफ होते हैं कौन सा आपका एक्सपर्टीज है यू हैव टू पिक ओके सो नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके सो इज दिस अ लाइट बल्ब मोमेंट फॉर यू टेल मी यू गेट ओनली 7.5 पॉइंट फाइव सेकेंड्स टू डिसाइड वेदर टू पिक और स्किप चूज करना है सॉल्व करना है या छोड़ना है सिर्फ 7.5 पॉइंट फाइव सेकेंड्स मिलते हैं राइट सो इज दिस लाइट बल्ब मोमेंट फॉर यू इफ यस टाइप एल बी इन द कॉमेंट बॉक्स एल बी सिर्फ 7.5 पॉइंट फाइव सेकेंड में आपको डिसाइड करना है वेदर यू वॉन्ट टू पिक दिस क्वेश्चन और लीव द क्वेश्चन 7.5 पॉइंट फाइव सेकेंड्स सो टाइप एल बी इन द कॉमेंट बॉक्स एवरीबडी एल बी लाइट बल्ब मोमेंट दिमाग की बत्ती चल गई मेंटोस खा लिया हमने आज राइट सेवन पॉइंट फाइव सेकेंड में आपको डिसाइड करना है कि क्वेश्चन को चूज करना है कि नहीं करना है चलो कोई बात नहीं दैट वी नो नाउ नाउ टुडे यू हैव आई एम अर्जिंग यू टू प्लीज लिसन टू आर एक्सपर्ट मिसेस उर्मी वाला शील हेल्प यू डिटेक्ट क्वेश्चंस कौन से क्वेश्चन उठाने चाहिए कौन से छोड़ देने चाहिए पॉइंट नंबर वन पॉइंट नंबर टू शील हेल्प यू एनालाइज द क्वेश्चन पेपर फास्टर अगर क्वेश्चन पेपर को फास्ट एनालाइज कर लिया है डेफिनेटली यू गोइंग टू मेक इट और सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चीज शील हेल्प यू डिफ्लेक्ट फ्रॉम टफ क्वेश्चन वेरी इजिली टफ क्वेश्चंस जो होते हैं लंबे भी होंगे पार्ट सी के सम क्वेश्चन दिल भी वेरी लेंदी और पढ़ते पढ़ते टाइम भी चला गया 7.5 पॉइंट फाइव का बीस बीस सेकेंड भी लग जाता है एंड देन यू रियलाइज अरे ये क्वेश्चन मुझे सॉल्व करना ही नहीं था सो विदाउट जस्ट रीडिंग द एंटायर थिंग बट जस्ट लुकिंग एट इट यू कैन डिफ्लेक्ट ये टफ है छोड़ दो ठीक है सो दिस ऑल शी इज गोइंग टू टीच यू बट वॉट शी नीड्स इज योर अनडिवाइडेड अटेंशन फॉर द नेक्स्ट वन आवर ठीक है शी वॉन्ट्स यू टू टेक नोट्स एंड आई वॉन्ट यू टू कीप योर फोन ऑन साइलेंट और अगर आप फोन पर ही देख रहे हो तो बाकी नोटिफिकेशन को भी कैंसिल करते जाओ ये पर्टिकुलर वेबिनार को एंड तक अगर आपने देख लिया तो आपकी आपकी सी एस आई आर नाइट नेट की लाइफ झिंगा लाला हो जाएगी ओके यू आर गोइंग टू मेक इट हैपन सो दिस इज वॉट इज गोइंग टू हैपन एंड नाउ एट द एंड I am going to come back and I'll give you the CSIR Net Starter Kit. जो Starter Kit पहले हमने दिया था उसका link expire हो गया था So the, the new version of Starter Kit has come for CSIR Net 2022. और हम आपको इस webinar में जो PPT use यूज करने वाले हैं वी विल गिव यू दैट इज वेल एंड आई हैव सम ग्रेट सरप्राइज गिफ्ट फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू ओके तो लास्ट में प्लीज फीडबैक फॉर्म भरना मत भूलिएगा और डिस्कशन वी विल कंटिन्यू ऑन बायोटेक्निकास टेलीग्राम ग्रुप सो बायोटेक्निका टेलीग्राम ग्रुप की लिंक हम 
चैट बॉक्स में दे देंगे प्लीज ज्वाइन अस देयर कोई भी क्वेश्चन हो वेबिनार के बाद यू कैन आस्क अस देयर नाउ वन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर वेबिनार इज ओनली फॉर सब्सक्राइबर्स ऑफ बायोटेक्निकाज यूट्यूब चैनल तो अगर आपने सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड दिस वेबिनार विल वैनिश फ्रॉम यूट्यूब इफ यू मिस इट बिकॉज at the end there will be no recording we are going to delete it okay so make sure you are totally attentive aisa nahi hoga ki baad mein aap dekh sakte ho this webinar will is only a broadcast only webinar it's a proprietary webinar of biotechnica to baad mein available nahi hoga so please make sure that you are attending it live so this is it from my side guys you can see decision making is so important and now ab aapko main expert ki taraf transfer karta hu she will guide you on what exactly you have to do to highlight and choose the important questions the trap questions the easy questions so all the best and i'll see you at the end thank you sir for the wonderful introduction and also for the amazing suggestions which i'm sure the students are going to benefit a lot hello everyone and welcome to my session Are you able to hear me? Please confirm in chat box. Okay, so my audio is clear. My PPT is visible to you. Am I right? Okay, amazing. So then, there is no reason for me not to start. Yes, a CSIR NET exam webinar, and today I am not going to give you much tips about the preparation. because i'm guessing probably by now you would have already entered into that stage i will be talking about a decision making game yes decision to choose questions to select questions in the final exam now you would wonder even is that even a thing why is that even important how does it matter and how will it impact the score how we are selecting the questions in the paper so hold on to that thought until i am able to convince you regarding this before i begin i would like to take a review from you we have completed one month today is 1st feb so how has been the year so far or what do you think it's a year of what 2022 according to you my fellow biotechnician students and all other attendees so what is this year for you you can also talk about the future what it's going to be okay yes hopeful end of covid probably yes give me one words yes okay success year of success fantastic year of happiness amazing year of winning so i'm really happy to see this affirmative words that you all are giving i must appreciate what a wonderful audience i have today with me honestly i did expect a few of negative words like failure or depression i'm really very glad to see that most of you think that it's a it's a good year it's going to be a good year ahead now being associated with biotechnica for so many years and coaching CSI net gate students i can only think of from one perspective and i see it as a year of opportunities yes you have three exams this year it's not a joke students this is happening first time in the history you're getting three chances with just one preparation how often does that happen now i have i may have a mix of audience with me today some who have already prepared in 2021 finally they are having to get the exam they get to give their exam and there will be students who probably are attending for the first time any net exam webinar as such so i must be keeping you both in mind the people who are going to prepare henceforth and the people who are, who are going to appear in the recent exam right so yes your recent exam is just 16 17 days away it's around the corner most of you um, few of you would have already prepared and they are waiting for the exam so at this juncture let us help you allow your friend biotechnica a friend in need is a friend indeed as always we are again here with last minute suggestions which help a lot 
and pull the students towards the success. And definitely this webinar will also give you many perspectives for those students who haven't uh, yet appeared for NET ever or they want to appear for it and get success in this year itself. So are you excited? Are you excited to know what all I have to share with you today this evening? Yes? All right. Amazing. So let's start. First things first, a bit of glimpse about your CSR question paper structure. You're going into the battlefield. I'm going to help you choose exam uh, questions from the exam paper. You should know what the exam paper is all about, isn't it? So there are three sections in your CSIR exam paper, part A, part B and part C. Part A has 20 questions, part B has 50 and part C has 75 questions, a total of 145 questions. Part A, part B both have two marks, part C has four marks. The good news, you don't have to attend all of that 145. No, you don't. You only have to do some selection. Under that selection also, I'll help you which questions to choose and which questions to better avoid. That's what we are here for today, right? So if I look at the statistics back for a few exams, now you will notice that the percentage of questions per unit. So you would know that there are total 13 units in the syllabus. So out of all the 13 units, you can see more or less they have equal percentage. So it doesn't matter whether you're from botany background, zoology background, biochem, uh, genetics, bioinformatics, seriously doesn't matter as long as you are a life science student. That is why the subject of CSI net exam is LS, life sciences, which includes all disciplines. So don't worry, you have a lot of questions to choose from. Whichever subject you have studied will definitely you will get questions from that. You just have to target a few set units. Again, you don't have to study all the 13, all that later. Uh, those are preparation details. So marks calculation in CSR exam. Pay attention students, you need to understand how is the scoring done. You're not simply going to the exam and attending whichever questions you can, whichever question you cannot. This is a serious affair. So you need to understand how your marks is getting calculated, how you're going to get that cutoff marks, right? So for part A, out of the 20 questions, total questions you're getting 20, you only have to attend 15 questions. Yes, only attempt 15 questions, not more than that. If you attempt more than that, only the first 15 will be marked. The other ones won't be. So better not to take that risk of marking more. 15 into 2, total of 30 marks. Part B, out of 50 questions, you are attending only 35 questions. So can you see how your selections are already getting streamlined? Yes, you, you are getting so many options from here. 35 into 2, total 70 marks. Part C, here comes the magic. How many questions you get in part C? Tell me, how many questions? 75. Out of that, how much you are attending? Only 25 questions. You are expected to attempt 25 questions out of 75. That's even, even less than 50% of the total questions right so since you have more marks for part c 25 into 4 you will get 100 marks previous ones 30 70 a total of 200 marks yes you are writing the paper for a total of 200 marks do not forget that right now let's understand why decision making is important here i told you how many marks you will be awarded on answering a correct question but there is a catch negative marking 25% deducted for each wrong answer. Part A and Part B, since they have two marks for a correct answer, for negative answer, for Part A, Part B, 0 0.5 will be deducted from your total score. And for Part C, for every wrong answer, one mark will be deducted from your total score. So shouldn't you watch it before answering a question? Obviously yet. Don't forget one more thing. CSIR net exam is a rejection game. Majority of candidates get rejected. Yes, only a handful, only a fraction get selected in this exam. So most of the people attending this competitive exam will get retained only based upon how much score they are getting. Because they set a cutoff, 
whoever candidates get above that cut off marks they are selected for fellowship for the money for the scholarship to do your jrf or phd the ones who lie below the cut off they aren't selected they are rejected so you don't want to be in that you want to be in that selected category if you want to get selected you have to make decisions on the questions wisely now tell me who did not think of this before i'm sure many of you did not think of this perspective before that okay i have to i have to select which questions i want to attend because each of those questions are making a decision on my score to clear this exam isn't this amazing right okay now i'm going to show you an a very very important thing how much marks do you want to score in fact how much should you score in order to clear this exam note this down everyone pay attention 60 to 65% if you want a guaranteed jrf yes you have to get now 60% remember i said total marks is 200 out of that you have to get 120 marks to get a 60% yes so so i'll take 120 and 130 between that you have a guaranteed jrf pakka and 50 to 55% that is somewhere around 100 to 110 marks you will get a guaranteed lectureship okay you will not get stipend for following your jrf junior research fellowship but yes with that certificate you can get into any recognized institute for lectureship right so this was a scorecard for one of our student in december 2019 uh, from when they started doing this online exam mode cbt computer based test and from that time onwards they started giving percentile result in percentile so what exactly is percentile i'll just tell you it is a score based on the relative performance of all the candidates who appear for this net exam during this percentile calculation the scores obtained by candidates in a session are converted into a scale ranging from 0 in fact from 100 to 0 in rough words if you ask me it is the it is an indication of the percentage of students who have secured equal to or below that particular percentile in the exam which simply means here she has scored 99.97 percentile means 99.97 students who attended they have got less marks than her so you can well imagine yes she was a ranker she was our student and uh, she really made us proud she was a ranker uh, many students have made us proud throughout the period of time but since there were there are no exams in 2021 that's why i don't have any recent one to show you but yes this was a very uh, proud moment for us right so cut off for november 2020 let's see what is the cut off uh, for 2020 exam they gave in percentile okay now you can see for life science this is unreserved you can ignore the other ones for them they have given the actual cut off but only for life sciences they had given in percentile cut off that is 98.94% only the 2% people were selected out of all the people who have attended isn't it so your cut off uh, this really doesn't reflect what marks you have to act- you have to actually get okay and life science also cut off they have given 97 um again it's for unreserved for other categories it is even lesser okay so you have more chances but yes uh, we don't have a exact picture of what exact marks you have to score but yes you can do you can get an idea from the other exams which were conducted from 2017 to 2019 now you will notice that the highest cut off till now this is for jrf okay highest cut off till now has been 60% less than 60% in fact that's why i told you uh, if you get 60% it's a guaranteed jrf for you right and on an average if you take it's almost 55% so even if you get 55% you may have a chance but i cannot guarantee that but above 60% definitely so all you have to target for is that 120 marks out of 200 marks you just have to get 120 marks i'll show you that is not so much difficult see she is a ranker and how much marks she got she got 144 not even you might think that okay rankers and all might get 200 is the total marks maybe some 170 180 like that but see her marks you don't even have to go that far isn't it and uh, for lectureship this will vary this the maximum cut off that has gone is 50% 
if you get above 50 percent it's guaranteed lectureship okay so some people who are, who are age is not uh, eligible for applying for grf so they can just target 50 percent that's all right so here i'm going to show a very interesting strategy pay attention for obtaining cutoff marks who is going to tell you how much marks you should attend and in what sections what you are going to attend to get the cutoff marks okay but we are here giving you the idea so note it down to achieve 65 percent okay i have taken 65 here i uh, you need 60 percent to clear the exam but here i have taken 65 percent that is 130 marks just to be sure right so get these many answers correctly from part a they had asked you to attend 15 questions remember that was what they are telling you don't do that just attend seven questions yes if you can you can attend more this is the minimum what i'm seeing right so from 20 questions overall you have to select seven questions from part a from part b they are giving you 50 questions just attend some half of that so you can have a little bit of here and there between these two if you are attending more here you can attend less here if you are attending more here you have a chance of attending less here but if you are able to attend then you can go ahead no problem you might get the shama prashad mukherjee fellowship which is even a higher amount that is when you get the very high ranks isn't it so 23 into 2 46 marks and that's when you need to be absolutely sure of these questions right so with a decent preparation i am sure it's not such a difficult thing to do and then you have 20 questions which are from part c 20 only 20 out of 75 they asked you to do 25 i'm just asking you do 20 questions correctly without making any mistake right so 80 marks if you do here more your chances of these questions will also come down you will have to solve less over here so focus on the concept students because most part c questions in csir is analytical is experiment based it's foundation based and also a little bit of smartness okay so total marks is 140 if you get these many marks you will get 140 out of that minus negative marking i'll take a little bit i'll remove 10 still you're getting 130 even if i remove minus 15 still you're getting 125 you're still staying above the cutoff this is the strategy you need to know now that you know how many questions you have to solve from each unit at least you have an idea i am not saying these are the fixed number of questions no at least you have an idea what to do right so uh, you have to increase the questions continue to increase in difficulty and the competition for gaining a stable strong career it will continue to be stronger than ever so it is very important to plan ahead and prepare with a unique strategy that can allow one to qualify irrespective of the slight changes in the cutoffs so that means that a student would require a minimum of 130 marks on an average or minimum of 120 marks to be able to secure a certificate even after a few negative markings means 140 even after a few negative markings so that at least it will come down to 120 right so um, did you like this approach are you game for it now do you think it is achievable now right once you prepare of course nothing is possible of this is possible if your preparation is not there so do you agree with me this this can work this can definitely help you clear with a rank awesome fantastic students thank you okay so what is the importance of decision making in csir exam right i'll show you a fantastic example i'll show you why you should not attempt questions that you are not sure of i'll i'll prove it in front of your eyes let's say you have attempted 15 questions from part c which all of them you know very confident that they are right so how much will you score 15 into 4 you will score 60 marks correct now see one magic if you attempt 20 questions you thought that let me take a risk each question has four marks no so if i somehow take a risk another five questions into four i'll get 20 marks extra but what if you get them wrong it's possible that all five you will get them wrong so not only you are losing on that 20 marks extra but whatever was your 15 correct questions from that also minus 5 will get subtracted and you will come down to 55 now imagine between that 55 to 60 marks how many candidates will come how many level you will fall down in the competition getting it right so this is not a good approach 
This is what is the approach. Attend the questions which you are absolutely sure of. Fine? So, who knows this game? Everyone knows this game? Jenga? You remove a wrong block, you touch a wrong block and you are gone. The entire thing will crumble down. Correct? So, you have to, a wrong decision will cost you your qualification. And that is why it's all about planning, risk, analysis and strategy about which type of questions you are going to target and which type of questions you are going to stay away from. You put your questions, you answer your questions in a constructive way. Staying away from the wrong blocks, definitely you will reach to the end. Right? So, you are the decision maker. Decision to do what? First of all, if any question is taking time, you should move on. In the paper, continuously you have to take on these decisions. It's not a prestige issue. Nobody is going to say, oh, you, you spent so much time, you are not able to solve it. Leave it. For a part B question, maximum 3 minutes. For a part C questions, maximum 5 minutes. If it is taking more time than that, please go ahead. Take risks only when desperately needed. I showed you some strategy to get the cutoff marks, right? Say you are falling short of that. I told you to attend 20 questions in part C. But let's say you have just attended 17 to 18. Other questions you are not that sure of. But you for sure know that how much ever you have attempted, with that you cannot get cutoff marks. Then you do have a slight chance of taking a risk. That anyhow I will not qualify with these marks. So better I take a risk. Right? So that you can afford to do. You don't have to attempt every question from your studied units. So you have studied cell biology. You have studied the cell cycle, microbiology, cell organelles, cell division, everything. And whatever questions are coming from that unit, don't take it as prestige issue that, okay, I have studied this unit, I should be able to attend all of this. Not necessary. Your cell division questions seem to be tough. It, uh, you could not come to a conclusion and you feel that there can be a trap in this question, it might get wrong. Leave it and move on. That's the decision that you are taking. Right? Know when to stop. You should control your greed. That example of 1520 which I told you. So these minute to minute decisions you have to take and for that what do you need? You need a practice. Directly if you go to the main exam and expect you to be the finest decision maker of all, that is not going to work my dear students. You have to practice a lot with previous year question papers. You have to brain feed yourselves. Okay, this is what I am going to do. This is what I should do. Continuously you have to feed your mind. This is not a game over here. This is a serious matter. This is a dedicated matter. You have to put in all your efforts. You don't get anything out of nothing. If you do nothing and you are expecting miraculous things, that's not going to happen. Right? Okay. So, let's jump on to the types of questions quickly. What are the type of questions that you get in your exams? You can categorize the entire question paper of CSR into these three types. The first type, it's easy question. Easy means direct, no twist question. Clear interpretation, one word answers probably, one to, one to two sentences of question. Most chances of getting it correct if you have a decent preparation. Of course, I am not asking you that you are not prepared and you go and try to scan the easy questions. No. You prepare some 7 to 8 units from 13 units and with a decent preparation, you will get many questions which are direct without any twist. And not necessarily this only will be from part B. You can even get a part C question that is pretty direct. Apply a simple formula or just know a, a simple concept, a single concept and you are good to go. Next question, tempting question. Yes, you should be extremely careful for such kind of questions. A big exclamation mark to be careful. Okay, because maximum students are going to attend such questions because they seem easy. So these questions might have chance of making a mistake, hence can be ignored. Uh, if you are if you are having a calm mind, a peaceful mind and you are pretty confident about your concept, you have noticed that uh, wh why this question can be wrong, you have found out all these options, then you can go and go ahead and uh, uh, go ahead and solve it, isn't it? But might appear somewhat easy and you may have to guess one to other options, right? So one, uh, so two type of tempting question, one which seems very easy but maximum chances of getting it wrong and the other type of tempting question is in which the all the options you may not uh, find easy but one two options are very easy the other one two you have to guess so those questions also you have to take a call at the last 
that how many questions you still have to answer those things you have to take care of the third type of question is trap question so here it may look easy it may look hard also i will not say it will always look easy but it may seem to have an obvious answer okay or it might be lengthy time taking risk factor can be more that a slight mistake can cost you the entire answer right if you are doing some numerical problem for example so any step in between if it goes wrong a value goes wrong the entire question answer will go wrong even after you have spent time so that you have to judge every question paper doesn't have equal number of graph based numerical based match the following all that now they will have a scattered population of such questions so you have to analyze every exam will be different but definitely there will be some catch in the trap question because of which you may fall into it and most chances that you may get it wrong if your concept is not clear so basically what i'm trying to say it will be a trick question okay so are you do you want to see the examples for all these types of questions do you want to understand how these questions uh, you can categorize how can identify them yes should i go ahead yes if if you feel that please type bring it on on your chat box in your chat box all right awesome thank you everyone i'm really privileged and honored to be addressing such a lively crowd today and thank you for joining in again for the session and uh, definitely this is going to benefit you in the success of your exam so let's jump into the examples yes art of identifying easy questions let's see what is that how do you identify the easy questions easy questions will mostly have one or two sentences and they will have some easy options to choose from and not that like if you are a little bit aware of the concept in this one which of the following is not an extracellular matrix protein now if anyone would have slightest knowledge keratin protein is present in your hair nails hooves horns of animals so that is basically present in a specific kind of tissue and not in the extracellular matrix because keratin is a type of intermediate filament it it has it has nature of intermediate filament and where is intermediate filament present intermediate filament is a type of cytoskeleton cytoskeletal means cyto means cell cell skeleton which will be inside the cell isn't it so from where it is extracellular right so these are some easy questions as i said you need slight preparation obviously without knowledge you cannot do that okay energy rich fuel molecules by the way these are all csi questions you might you might think that csi really so yes these are all csi questions so molecules produced in the tca cycle since time immemorial you have been studying tca cycle so whoever would know they will know that it is one gtp three nadh and one fadh2 there is no questioning about that the one succinate dehydrogenase it gives the electrons to fadh2 means fad so that is the only different cofactor rest all is nadh right easy peasy now this i will categorize also in the category of tempting right so why it is easy question because ph4 and ph10 solutions are mixed correct so again if anyone has a knowledge they will know ph is equal to minus log of h plus most of you will know this isn't it that means if ph is less means hydrogen and concentration is more and when ph is more hydrogen and concentration is less right so when you mix both of them obviously hydrogen and concentration is going to be high because where are these going to be suddenly it will not become less right the hydrogen and concentration is still going to be more so definitely if you take the final solution and uh, mix both of them you will get answer 4 because again hydrogen ion concentration is high means ph has to be low but why it is a tempting question because many of you might feel okay 4 and 10 so what will be approximate ph 4 plus 10 divided by 2 it is 7 many of you will do that okay that's how it's a tempting question this is easy like guessing will work in many questions of csr trust me which one is required for vitamin b12 absorption in small intestine right so we all know that vitamin b12 means definitely cobal cobalo um, word is involved with it so that that's why this is the answer right now next is the trap temptation questions do not fall into the temptation you should be able to analyze 
and you should stop yourself from see you will feel like attempting you will feel like no no i i think i know this okay i can get this but somewhere there is a catch your first example of such a temptation question right some errors occur during dna replication that are not corrected by proofreading not corrected right in hari bari you will say that are corrected okay most of these things i know i have read all this mutes mutel reke all this you have you know that you might have felt right so these are corrected by um, so defect in the activity of some of the following impair following enzymes will impair this process means not corrected so it appears tempting as all the names given in the options are part of dna repair mechanisms so we might end up selecting all three combinations in abc isn't it so uh, that's a general tendency but here we need to look carefully at that part of question saying errors which are not corrected by proofreading activity and that indicates we need to look for a repair system which works immediately during or after replication and one that one is mismatch repair where only enzymes given in option a and c are applicable so actually correct answer is this right so what exactly do you need like what kind of preparation i'm telling you simultaneously side by side like what type of questions to analyze and how you're going to prepare prepare for it right this are not superficial preparations you need a detailed preparation for this something which you get either out of standard reference books but they are very long enough and takes time to read so maybe you need a authentic and genuine class uh, some classroom coaching where you are getting the entire concept by someone who is teaching you isn't it because uh, see when you see some superficial uh, only the topic is uh, given like repair in one lecture it's done some youtube videos many youtube videos in fact now uh, anybody will come to youtube and they will claim them as teachers but what you should do is you should stay away from such unauthenticated you should only go for genuine whose track record is proven who set who have uh, churned out continuously csr net gate toppers so those coaching classroom coachings if you take then definitely um your uh, preparation is going to be built on a strong foundation so these easy things no means uh, this simple things there will be no chance of making a mistake whereas the other students who are attending such questions they will a high they will have a high chance of making such mistakes so you should be careful about that tempting question example 2 So this is a unit eight question. Yes, A B O blood group, autosomal multiple alleles, color blindness is given, and uh, crossing couple's first child is a male who is color blind. All this. So they have given the probability that their next female child has a normal vision and O blood group. So generally, what people will uh, will be mistaken is that student have the have to find the probability of all three cases that it is a female child, it has a normal vision and a O blood group. but they often will miss out on this normal vision and consider only any two possibilities they may consider they may miss out on the third possibility as well the rest of it is easy female child half normal vision having blood group o all that is easy so it's a tempting question that yes i have practiced so many of them so definitely i got this okay but then again there is a catch to this question the third question just have a look at this tempting question The word fermentation is used in biochemistry and microbial technology to de to denote different phenomena. Now, if the former is called C and the latter is called T, just imagine they could have given B for biochemistry, M for microbial technology. It would have been easy for your brain to process. But no, they have taken C and they have taken T. Okay, now you have to input this in your brain. your brain has to process this and then solve the question why do you want to take such unnecessary trouble tell me isn't it so some um, match the following graph based questions analysis can also be little bit tempting the options might seem very obvious but a small word may be little bit different a small word like not or uh, uh, you know is or something some word okay another example i'll try I'll, i'll i want to give you is that uh when there is a technical word okay if you have two opposing statements right if you have two opposing statements like this is an allosteric activator this is an allosteric inhibitor so in that case we are focusing on the technical word which is allosteric yes we know that it is an allosteric enzyme we are focusing on that so we will mark it correct but you have to look at the general word whether it is an activator or whether it is an inhibitor 
these things you have to look right so, or if they ask that uh, the omega dihedral angle in beta type 1 type 2 turns they are they are different right so you are focusing on the omega dihedral angle the technical word but are they really different no in both type 1 and type 2 beta turn omega dihedral angle is 180 degree they don't differ so what we missed out is we don't pay attention on the layman word but rather we will just concentrate on the so that's what csr questions are they will change your focus to the more technical based question they will frame the sentences such that your attention goes to the technical question and you miss out on obvious words the layman english words right so anyways here the answer is option four but whatever now beware of the trap questions yes you need to know uh, the trap questions so i'll try to explain what type of questions you should stay, you should stay away from so this is example one where most chances are that you will get confused fine for example see this is to answer this question they have given a figure and how much restriction digestions are, are there this is linked question why you need to know what is heterozygous unit 8 you need to know what is transcription start site unit 3 and you need to know restriction digestion which is unit 13 now let's say you have prepared all the three units fine but at the exam hall are you really ready to combine and recollect all these concepts in one question and answer it no right so again you have to take a decision if you have already got your uh, 18 to 20 part C questions then why do you want to simply go for this question leave it move on to something else as I mentioned each and every point in this webinar you have to pay, pay attention to I said right you have to control your greed and you should uh, move on if you feel any question um, is not you're not sure of right so that decisions those decisions you have to take what should I do and I also said that you take risks in such questions only when you desperately need it and then too if you desperately need i will suggest to go for tempting questions than this trap questions right because you will spend ample amount of time for such questions but then also you might get it wrong let me show you one more example so better decision is to not attempt such questions why because see so this is the thing i was talking about fructose 6-phosphate bisphosphate is an allosteric uh, whatever of uh, pfk1 right so yes it's an allosteric enzyme agreed but this is wrong this is activator okay then see this is from carbohydrate metabolism a and b c is from amino acid metabolism d is from uh, nucleic acid metabolism e is from fatty acid metabolism why do you simply want to pressure your brain in that exam situation if you have other options then better skip that and that too you see the combinations of correct statements see in one you have two options in a one you have three options in one you have four options so any one of it can be wrong the options where you have two two options no that is fine those kind of questions are fine but here you are having three three options three option four option like that so better to avoid that this is another trap question example so i am not saying all numerical questions will be like that now this question is based on the life table here you need to know recall apply all the formulas mortality age survivorship fecundity and then only the net repro reproductive rate so unless you are very sure and very calm most importantly very calm to solve questions try not to attempt such questions if you have other options as they are lengthy moreover if you make one mistake you have to make a table over here so filling one blank with wrong figure may give you a wrong answer at the end leaving full chances for negative marking and that too you have wasted your time instead which questions you should select the ones which are uh, which are you know like uh, graph based questions or match the following questions so when you go to a supermarket what do you do do you pick the ones which okay many ingredients you you want to you, you you would make a recipe and many ingredients are required for that not really right the ones which are simple easy to consume the ones which are uh, uh, like um, economical right so you will go for those which are cost effective right so here also target more match the following and graph based questions graph based questions may look difficult but actually they are not match the following one two options you will know the other options you can take a guess 
so why not target those questions first csr uh, nta platform it will allow you to choose from the uh, questions so go to a question if you feel that it is not okay then you uh, select another question like that because earlier in paper based mode all the questions are together you might feel panic to see all the questions and choosing from them might be little bit overwhelming but now nta platform has this advantage so why not use it you get to see only one question at a time and you decide whether to attempt it or to leave it simple try to avoid related combination unit questions again as i said time taking lengthy questions so are they really compensating are they really uh, compensating for the time you are spending for them so you have to take the decision okay now learn the art of scanning easy questions now in the question paper you are not really getting to scan but at least you should select or reject now if if you click on one of the question and you get this what are you going to do obviously this is an easy question fluorescently tagged protein was used to study protein secretion so protein secretion that means protein has to be secreted now last will be secretory vesicle only no at the end only it is going to get secreted out again a little bit of information is required means you need a little bit of preparation for this but these are very much uh, doable questions which of the following describes best sequence and we all know that if it is a protein it will get synthesized on the ribosomes ribosomes means rough er would be the first one so cab should be the right answer right which of the following is a group of signaling molecules that act as morphogens during development of an organism and its effects are mediated through receptor patched and binding partner smoothened yes it is a information requiring question definitely but as i said with little bit of preparation you are not you don't have to apply your signaling concept here you not have to analyze the signaling concept just have to know that hedgehog protein binds to the signal protein binds to patched receptor and smoothened partner so this this in much information is enough to get you a two marks right questions having opposing statements can also be easy sometimes for example the following statements were made to describe the role of gibbs free energy this can also be an example of tempting question because reaction can take place spontaneously if delta g is negative most of you would know this that a reaction is favorable when the energy is getting lost free energy is getting lost that means it is negative now what you may not know is that you will think that okay we based on delta g we are predicting whether reaction is spontaneous or not so probably delta g provides rate of reaction provides an estimation of rate of reaction but actually these two are different things a person who has a concept in biochemistry not just from superficial some notes or ready made classes or something from anyone anonymous anyone they will know that there is a difference in spontaneous reaction which means that until and unless you provide some external energy the reaction will not take place so by itself if the reaction can take place and rate of reaction means how fast the reaction is taking place both are different things while delta g can predict this delta g cannot predict this so actually answer is a and c but yes there are opposing statements over here so you can go for such opposing questions they can be easy if you know the concept but at the same time they can be tempting also okay guessing can work in some of the questions for example addition of antibiotic cephalexin to growing e coli cell leads to filamentation of the cells followed by lysis they have already said filamentation of cells followed by lysis which means that something in the membrane is getting or in the cell wall is getting disrupted right nothing to do with proteins in this is dna dna rna polymerase so all options just look at it once and you would be able to get to the answer right so guessing doesn't work in all questions for example in a signaling event if you don't know what phospholipase c does it converts pip3 or pip or pip2 or pip into what you can never guess if you don't know the answer okay second another example yes the sequence the correct order order based questions so you might know what i'm talking about right order based questions uh, it, it can be a process or it can be a step it can be some carriers some molecules so be careful in that or in those order questions if you don't know don't guess 100% chances that you may get it wrong 
you might think that okay let me get lucky and answer one question most chances is that it will get wrong avoid such questions okay if you don't know a part c question can also be an easy question for example have a look at this unit 5 question if you know any one of them right see these are all uh, some exclusive type of options for example d if you know about d it is central acetal it has meroblastic superficial so d2 and that is like you have only two options for that now out of that you have to select now birds have meroblastic discoidal incomplete cleavage so c1 your answer is there by knowing one or two options it can be easy and this is a super easy one from unit 4 in animals four separate families of cell to cell addition proteins are listed now see here selectin all thing is possible towards lectin selectins have lectin domain so d1 d1 means this option or this option then immunoglobulin super family contains extracellular immunoglobulin like domains is this even a question c is 2 so out of that c is 2 means this is the answer you already got your answer you don't even need any knowledge for this little bit of presence of mind in fact not little bit you need through the entire question exam you need presence of mind right so this is a part c question it gives you a solid four marks and in all question paper you will find questions like that recently in november 2020 they gave a exam on scientists and what they have found the alpha helix structure or the ribonucleus christian anfinsen's experiment all this they have given right now next another example don't get fooled by the length of the question so you might think okay thermodynamics protein folding i haven't studied baba go through that question once na probability is that you may know the may know the answer so never never skip anything at least read it percentage of protein in native conformation 100% here that means at the down it is 100% in native conformation so what else can be d d has to be native structure so d is one d is one these two can be option now if this is the one in native structure from where it started it has to be the polypeptide chain just the single polypeptide chain so that will have highest entropy isn't it obviously it cannot be intermediate it cannot be a molten globule so it will have something which is having highest entropy where um it is just in random structure in disorder because polypeptide folded polypeptide is a is a ordered structure but here ent entropy is maximum so with a going for a uh, structure with highest entropy a2 so this will be your answer see with one two options you are able to you uh, answer this questions it's all about knowing the type of question take a question paper for practice after this webinar okay and see take a question and you talk to yourself whether you would leave this question or whether you would take a risk of solving this question right are you are you getting an idea was i able to convince you that there are certain types and you can actually go for a particular type where you can score maximum yes so uh, so, so so did you benefit from what i am telling you since now right okay excellent thank you thank you everyone and there are combination questions where you will have uh linked questions i already told you that for example here you require the concept of unit 6 also regarding plants and also definitely the ploidy of somatic cells in next generation you need to know the unit 8 concepts also okay so be careful of such questions i am not saying not to attend but be careful so the thing it boils down to is taking right decision in the exam can help you score more than the topper this was all i had to say about the question types a little bit more strategies about how you should prepare especially in the few days that are left and also it can be a strategy for the upcoming days as well before i go into that answer this question choose the co correct preparation strategy which can give you guaranteed success in exam can you tell me that's right classes self study revision question practice no doubt in this isn't it so more you increase your preparation and the ways of preparation more your chances will increase it's all about increasing the probability right so what are the effective strategies for success in exam one is paced practice it is spreading the revision time instead of it's like the opposite of a cramped revision strategy 
where you have very less time to revise everything and you are doing everything in a hurry bari it's more of like spreading your revision across a long period of time like a entire 6 months or something so this means you need to plan your time to review your notes and course content regularly think of it as breaking your study into bite sized chunks you will retain more information because you are taking the time to remember it rather than cramming and forgetting it all the minute you leave the exam hall right the next is retrieval practice as the name sounds practice recalling and for that you have to give some time to forget the material first it's all it's at that point that you can try retrieving or remembering what you had studies studied there are many ways to do this like uh, attending practice test flash cards concept maps right try to retrieve the impo- uh, the information after you have learned it and the important thing to remember is that you need to give your time a little bit of uh time to forget first yeah, the the brain to forget first next is interleaving rather than studying the key concept of the course one after the another one sub unit then second sub unit then third sub unit no try interleaving creating links between topics switch between related topics during your study if you are studying agrobacterium why not study little bit of genetics along with that by creating links between the ideas you are able to relate you're trying to remember you're building a web of knowledge that helps your memory and easy to recollect makes your study sessions more interesting also okay elaboration and dual coding it is you need to associate knowledge with your existing ideas you can present information in multiple different forms like pictures and words this this can be very effective study strategy you need to ask the questions of how this topic of how this concept can work make more links and dual coding works in similar manner but it involves some visual and word based study materials both of these are handy to help visualize concepts when you are having a ben- mental blank okay when you no- nothing is going into your head it's re- just reach saturation this really helps and the last is utilize sources available resources available biotechnica has many such smart revision tools like differences tables from where you can uh, uh, compare between two concepts two processes two words and also for some word what are the points of that process or that particular term they are in the form of concept table concept wheel and a very imp- uh, important uh, revision tool what biotechnica offers is the concept cloud where the words will be given in one place and uh, you can recall by looking at the important words from that unit you can just try to recall what you had studied about that particular term right also you have to keep in mind time management both in preparation and while during the exam accuracy what is accuracy high score overall it will impact your high score and not on any particular question but overall so if if it is taking a question for too long to answer you should skip it right and plus speed you have to see the speed as well that will only get your dream rank in csr exam both have to be there remember and when you are preparing first focus on accuracy then focus on speed because there is no use of speed if your questions are going wrong there is no use of accuracy if you are left behind and you are only able to solve a handful of questions so i believe you are understanding the importance of both so what i will suggest you is divide and rule divide your entire 3 hours of the exam into uh, some specific parts try to solve part c first where maximum scoring is there give a 90 to 100 minutes for this section then part b because there are short and straight forward questions the reason i suggest part c is because the initial thinking you it's a, it's a fresh mind so you can do the logical and analytical thinking quickly okay but you can switch depending on how your brain works some people might feel solving part b because major chunk of the questions will be done a lot of questions will be done and uh, also you might forget later what you have just studied so you might want to solve part b now that will depend upon student to student right and uh, after solving a few parts b questions which are relatively easy you might feel confident so you might want to do this first but personally on my level i will attend part c first and then part b last will be part a because questions can be tricky keep a segregated slot of 30 minutes and don't forget to keep the last 10 minutes for revision because this is a competitive exam you have to aim maximize your score as much as possible so uh, you should not give up during the exam and try to attend the questions correctly whichever you are sure of okay so what is a good source for practicing questions definitely previous year question papers 
and also questions at the back of chapters in reference books standard reference books also yes but you're not getting something in this what is that proper evaluation whether it's correct or not detailed explanations yes many a times you will face that regularity uh, when you want you will do that when you don't want you will skip it right there is no regularity maintained and unit wise questions this is a thing which uh, which we get a lot that ma'am do you have anything in which i have i can solve only unit one questions only biochemistry questions yes so the solution is a lot of things in biotechnica classroom coaching offers regular weekly test every week you get a test on what you have studied that week how amazing is that right somebody to monitor your progress monthly quest which are just like in the format of your csr exam so it is testing you almost not almost every month it is testing you till the exam right and this is the one which is unit based so we have 15 such series in which every unit has a separate test series all questions will be biochem questions only or cell biology or micro bi or uh, molecular biology and most important is that they are ai powered artificial intelligence it gives you questions based on your um in, uh, in, in not only capacity if you are attending the questions very easily it will throw some more hard questions towards you right so where else do you get this and toughnet question bank which has the choicest of toughest questions if you want to challenge your intellect that my preparation is good i want to see if i'm able to solve all the tough questions that have uh, that the types which come in csir okay and uh, yes uh, this is how the interface looks like for our test series you can see 75 questions out of that 37 questions and uh, you can you know you will also have a practice of staring at the computer because uh, sometimes what happens suddenly if somebody feels that uh, directly they go in the exam they will their eyes will be stressed a lot so biotechnica is trying to uh, give you the same platform for practice tests so that you don't feel any stress on your eyes and it has a similar interface for practice our practice tests what you get see the questions are given uh, you can view it you can answer it if you want you can leave that question you can mark it for review the same way how how the nda gives it also maintains a timer for you so that you can finish your test in due time correct and also option of marking for review later you can view it so it will make a mark a flag like this for you right and not only that there will be vivid explanations which help to understand concept behind the questions right so as an intelligent student you must use this data analysis above to your advantage understand the uh, read between the lines and make yourself accustomed to the cut of demands and not just rely on your own preparation but you have to go for some authenticated preparation which continuously tracks you and also uh, which gives you a solid foundation on your concepts right so what are you waiting for mark your calendars Lakshya batch yes a fresh batch is starting on 3rd feb day after tomorrow so you have to take a decision now right so you are taking decisions in exams you are taking decisions in preparation you have to take decision even before preparation right so you should take a decision one time preparation one time preparation the batch begins you prepare for one time you get a double guarantee for june also for december also and you are tripling the chances for this exam june exam and next exam when do you get such a chance that's why i called 2022 a year of opportunities agreed yes so the race has begun every second counts you don't want to be left behind no so enroll now because we are uh, we we feel very bad when we have to say no because our batch size is limited if that seat gets full then we won't be able to accommodate you so if you want to be a part of this amazing career ahead amazing preparation we all prepare together students and teachers prepare together we just don't teach students we uh, we enlighten students isn't it so that's why you should uh, contact and it's not how we make mistakes but how we correct them that defines us so you may have prepared in the wrong way from some wrong materials from some wrong sources that's okay we are here to correct that for you so that you can get success and you are not weak in any subject you might feel that no i'm not getting that subject please you haven't met the right teacher yet meet them at biotechnica so with that thank you so much everyone for your time and patience you've been a lovely audience it's my honor and privilege to address you thank you shekhar sir for giving me the opportunity i hand over the controls to you now
Thank you, students. All right. So looks like we had a, a interesting and exciting webinar today, right? Please tell me in the comment box how was it? How was it, guys? Did you like it? Was this a complete utilization of your one hour's time? One one and a half hours time? Yes. Correct. Yes, of course. Now is the time for gifts, right? Gift हमें देना अच्छा लगता है आपको लेना अच्छा लगता है तो चलिए let's give you some gifts. Feedback form की link we are putting in the description in the chat box right now. Please go ahead and click that. Fill the feedback form. You will be redirected to the surprise gift which is valid only for two hours. Okay? After that it will go away. और उसके बाद आपको एक email मिलेगा जिसमें सारी surprise gift होगी आपको link मिल जाएगा starter kit का You will get a link for the Telegram group, and you will also get the link for the PowerPoint download. Okay, so all this is give, being given in the chat box. Okay, feedback form मत भूलिए भरना. और एक और very important announcement I have for all of you, which is Laksh Batch is starting for the achievers of tomorrow. It is starting from 4th of February. It is coming with exam insurance guarantee. Okay, you are getting Conceptica flowchart. and raid classes that is raid rapid advanced intelligently delivered classes it's a patent pending process and free bioinformatics internship so ye sari cheeze aapko mil rahi hai so all the best lakshbhai join kar sakte hain aap link is given in the chat box thank you so much for attending this session and it was really really exhilarating exciting and um, i really felt useful today because i could help you all in today's session thank you so much and all the best for cs anet now we have a very very special announcement for all of you from tomorrow onwards we are starting a special series and we are calling it as r r r okay i hope you have heard of the movie right r r r the same on the same lines we are starting r r r which is which means rapid revision rounds okay so every day in the evening 7 o'clock our experts will come live on youtube and they will solve the toughest most 10 questions along with you first they'll, they'll display the question you solve it and then they will show you how to solve it faster in a easier manner so rrr is starting from tomorrow tomorrow is the introductory session and there i will be coming and i'll give you some 10 to 12 tips on how to do rapid revision and after that next day onwards we'll start the uh 13 units 13 sessions on rapid revision rounds thank you so much for attending this session and i invite all of you to attend the rrr sessions in the future have a great preparation time and i wish you all the best and success in csnn take care good night bye bye